guys and welcome back to my channel i know my background's a little bit like plain and stuff but like i changed up my room so like it's a little you know different but that's okay i guess i don't know but today we're going to be doing a comparison video comparing these two foundations both of them are from wet and wild and the only difference is that this is a thick foundation and this is a liquid foundation and i wanted to see how they compared to each other because like I don't know like i don't know one good thing about it is that both foundations are from the same line so it's like easy to compare but i wanted to see how long each of them last so i wanted to do check-ins throughout the day to see which ones last longer if you guys are new to my channel and if you guys don't know me hi my name is lizzie and i make beauty and lifestyle videos here on youtube and without further ado let's just get right into the video so first i'm going to prep my face prior to putting on any of the foundations because i feel like if you have a good base good like primed face then your foundation would last longer and stuff like that and if if I think one of these foundations do not last as long as I think they would, I will definitely tell you. And the first thing I'm going to use is my Mario Badescu Facial Spray with Alloy Chamomile and Lavender. And we're just going to spray it all over the face because, you know, that's, that, that, that's what it is, you know. And I want to moisturize my face, so we're going to use the Stream Moisture Daily Hydration Face Lotion. And it doesn't come out the pump anymore, so I'm like scraping the bottom part. But, you know, this is life. This is, this is the... This is the life. Tell me if you guys like this setup or anything because I really want to know. Maybe I'll put like something else in the background or stuff like that. But I'm really liking this setup because it's like kind of more comfortable for me and like it's better for me. So yeah. So after moisturizer, we're going to prime our face using the Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer. This is the best primer ever. Like I had this on the other day and I was so surprised of how pretty my face looked. I mean, it's not really that pretty, but how smooth it looked because you know. We ugly out here. And we're just going to put this in the middle of our face because that's what we gotta do. So now that we're done prepping our face, I could prep it a little bit more, but I literally don't feel like it. So the right side is going to be my liquid foundation and the left side is going to be the stick foundation. So make sure you remember because probably I won't remember, so just remember for me. And we're going to do the liquid foundation first because it's a little bit di more difficult to put on because it's like whole process. I have less acne scarring on this side so that's something to keep in mind because like if we're looking for coverage then this side won't have that much foundation on it anyways. We're only going to do one layer of each foundation because who needs more than one layer? I'm not one of those people who put more than one layer on so like mm, no. If you don't want to see my pimples, don't look at me, okay? And then for the other side, we're just going to swipe foundation stick a few times on this side. I'm just going to blend it out with my beauty blender or my Real Technique sponge. It don't really matter. They all do the same thing. Okay, guys, both sides are applied. And as you can see, they look almost exactly the same. I forgot to mention that I got the same shade on both foundations. So they're in the shade Soft Beige. And it says it's a light, medium, warm color. So now I'm going to talk about some comparisons and non-comparisons. I don't know what the other word is. Like. So the liquid foundation comes with 1 fluid ounce and 30 milliliters and the stick foundation comes with 0.42 ounces and 12 grams. Both of them are vegan formulas so that is good because you know no one likes animal cruelty you know. No we don't. The stick foundation is just plastic, but the liquid foundation is glass. Like, I wouldn't see a stick foundation with glass packaging anyway, so I think that the packaging that they chose was really nice and really compact, and it was, like, okay. I was going to film this the other day, but, like, I had a dentist appointment, and they gave me a cavity or two. I'm not really sure. And my whole mouth was literally, like, it was just numb for a while. And it was numb for, like, a few hours, so, like, I couldn't film. But now I'm filming, you know? Now you get to see my face. It's currently 3.52 right now, so I'll let you know how I'm feeling after I finish up my makeup and stuff. So guys, I finished up with my makeup look, but I filmed another video in the meantime, so the time is 4.43 right now. It's been an hour, and it's still looking nice. It's still looking good. None of the makeup, like, stuck onto it in patches or anything. When I had fallout on this crazy eye look, by the way, it just wiped away with my beauty blender. I just tapped it a little bit, and then it just went away real quick. Nothing really 
changed in the past hour or so that I was filming. Like there was no oxidation or anything on either side. And I don't even think you can tell if there's a difference. I put on a full face of makeup, so I'm really putting it to the test. I'm probably going to change my eye look throughout the day because it's not really my thing. It was just for a video. So I'll probably take this off and just move on. Like, I don't know. I'll just put on a different eye look. I'm going to give you a close up on how it looks just in case you want to know how it looks close up. I'll let you know in a few hours how I feel about it as well. Hi guys, it is currently 7.25 right now and I come with you with an update, you know? But I feel like they both still look the same. Obviously, I took off my makeup on my eyes because I was not feeling it. Sometimes I wanna lay down a bit and I didn't want no green on my sheets, okay? But um, both sides are looking real nice. They look like kind of normal. I think the liquid side has a little bit more oils to it, but let me go check in the mirror to see because I'm not really sure. I don't know if I put too much highlight on this side compared to this side, but this side does look a little bit um, oily. So this side especially has worn off a bit, but I'm not really sure if I did a lot of manhandling to this side. So I'm not going to take that into account, but overall the foundation is looking real nice on both sides. And I've come to the conclusion that I'm decluttering the opal highlighter because I filmed a few videos after my... Um, makeup video or this video the opal highlighter literally looks like blush on me and i don't really like that at all so all right guys so this is the end of the day for me it is literally 2 30 a.m that is usually the ends of my days because i usually am a night owl so this is my makeup at the end of the day and i feel like most of it has rubbed off on both sides actually I'm looking at myself in the mirror right here i am rough with my face sometimes like i picked at this thing like it's been there for a while but i picked at it so it's like exposed but like i feel like on both sides all of my foundation has rubbed off obviously there's a little bit of residue from both sides but i feel like most of it has rubbed off you can't really expect like a six dollar foundation both of them are six dollars i believe to last like a long time so i had expectations as well i powdered it well i set it well and i put concealer well and like most of it came off so i don't know i still really like the foundation because i usually don't last that long with my foundations i really love the foundations on both sides like i love them so much since it's 2 30 a.m right now i'm going to hop into the shower and go to sleep if you like this video please give it a thumbs up or a thumbs up and if you want to subscribe to my channel please hit the subscribe button that looks like this one and if you want to get notified every time i upload a new video please hit the bell button as well thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video Thank you.